As I'm sure I don't have to tell you guys, Alaska can be a pretty crazy place. So up here, it's absolutely critical to have EDC essentials. So that is exactly what we're going to be going over today. My everyday carry essentials for living in Alaska. Before we get started, guys, as always, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more awesome content like this. And today, we're going over my top six everyday carry essentials for living in Fairbanks, Alaska. Now, this is not my entire EDC kit. I do carry more, but these are the six things that I try to make sure that I always have on me before leaving. These are the things that are most useful and most critical. So let's roll into number one. So number one is a ferro rod, and this is an Exotac Nano Striker XL. I wear it around my neck because it's very convenient to do that. It's a very sure way of making sure I always have it, and it's not getting lost. It's also a very easy way because this is very small and lightweight. It doesn't take up much room on my neck, and it doesn't really weigh me down that much, but I love to have the ferro rod because the ferro rod, unlike another fire lighting method I'll get to, is a sure fire method of having making fire whether this rod is cold or whether it's dry or wet it doesn't matter this thing will always spark up and always help you make fires relatively easy so that's the importance of this and in Alaska of course the number one thing especially now that we're going into winter is making sure that you have fire starting methods because it can get very cold here so legitimately what may seem like a small mishap can turn into a true survival situation it is like I said another fire lighting method and it is the Zippo and I prefer starting fires with the Zippo the Zippo is significantly easier to start fires with but of course it is significantly easier to start fires but it's also significantly more finicky these things can run out of lighter fluid if they're dropped in the water they can stop working there's tons of things that can prevent a zippo from doing its job so while i prefer to have the zippo and i like the zippo it's not number one for my fire starting methods because of its unreliability however it's still an important edc item that i always take with of course quite logically blades cutting implements and and for this one I just have the 940 Osborne and an SE3 and I carry knives one for cutting open boxes and doing pretty everyday carry tasks I also carry them for survival in case I ever need to for whatever reason use them to process things like wood or feather stick I also carry them primarily ones like this for defensive options. So there's a quite a few reasons why I carry knives and all three of these reasons play into the fact of why I don't leave my house without at least one uh, tactical knife that can serve the role of all three, uh, being a cutting implement, then being a survival tool and a defensive option. Next to that is a handgun and I can't carry this one every single place and that's primarily why I have the SC3, but a hand handgun I go pretty much everywhere with and once again I carry this because Alaska is a pretty untamed place and so you want some kind of defensive option that's serious protection and so regardless to whether it's from people or from animals you want serious protection and that's what the handgun affords and once again Alaska is pretty remote it's pretty untamed so it's really nice and really sure assuring to have a handgun on you at all times so next is a flashlight in case you guys don't know it actually especially in the fall and winter tends to get dark here and in fact on our shortest days we can have as little as three hours of sunlight at least up here in Fairbanks and so having a flashlight like this a pretty powerful flashlight this is an Innova T2 and uh, this one is not super super bright but 385 lumens is not bad and certainly helps you illuminate and see where you need to go and so I carry this just for being able to see my way in the dark regardless to what time the dark sets in uh, it's nice to have and it's nice to be able to use a flashlight for navigation 
and lastly, and this is pretty circumstantial to me being a YouTuber and also very connected to social media and such, but I also carry a phone. This is a Samsung Galaxy 7S, uh, S7 Edge, and uh, I carry this because despite what most people may think, Alaska is still pretty high tech, and especially me being a YouTuber and connected to social media so much, it's important that I have a phone that I can connect with social media, and just as you expect in Alaska, there's not a whole lot of Wi-Fi hot spots here, so it's important to have something like a mobile phone that has mobile data so that I can use data on the go and I don't have to be around uh, Wi-Fi hotspots. So in Alaska, it does not make a whole lot of sense to carry something like a small computer to do most of your work. It actually makes more sense to carry either a small tablet or a larger phone like this. Guys, guys that is my top six essential everyday carry items that I don't leave my house without and overall they all serve very unique functions that are all very imperative to my daily life whether that's opening boxes or possibly defending my life or just simply uh, being able to get on social media share videos connect with my audience members and stuff like that so anyways hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video as always god bless and I'm out